I'm definitely gonna make a trade. The team isn't performing at all like it should. Not even 500. In about a month is the trade deadline. I'm gonna simulate about two to four weeks, and then I'm gonna check to see who wants Placanic. I want the most trade value out of him, for sure. So, the teams that are at the top of the West, I'm gonna look for first, and then if none of them are gonna work out, I'll go to the East. Right now, we're only two points behind them, but that's why I'm giving it two to four weeks. If we end up going on a little bit of a win streak and getting up into six, then I might consider keeping Placanitz. But if we, in about two to four weeks, if we're still 500, I'm definitely going to trade him. Right now in the West, St. Louis, Arizona, Minnesota, Nashville, Vancouver, they're all there. I'm not sure who's going to be there in a few weeks. We'll have to see. Fan happiness is at an 83. We do, a little bit of this is going down. I think I should start maintaining a lot of them. So, owner goal requirement, yeah, I can do that in the off season. But for now, I am going to repair all of these. About 0.2 mil for each. And I have one mil remaining. Um, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. I might not be. This is my first time doing it, so bear with me a little bit. Time to simulate, though. I have a few ideas of who I want to trade for. Somebody was telling me to trade with Edmonton. The only problem, right now, they're not in the playoffs. So, trading Placanic to them makes absolutely no sense. Not realistic at all. Nashville was a team that wanted him. <laughs> they made the Weber Thuban trade. Who knows, maybe, maybe they'd want to form more of a working relationship. I don't know. There's two wins there. Um, I didn't know the standings were so close. It showed us being, I think, sixth or fifth in our division. But I wasn't sure. What What's this? Owner goals update. So, he will continue to evaluate as the season goes on. Okay, let's view it. He didn't add any more. Oh, what? Now he wants us to advance to the Stanley Cup Final. Wow. He wants 30 wins at home. Fan happiness needs to get up to 91. That's crazy. So, he thinks we can go for the Cup this year. I don't know. We don't have depth. Another... Okay, um, conference final, and back down to 25, um, owner's a bit hesitant of what he wants, okay, that was kind of odd, I'm not sure why he changed his mind so quick, another update, now he wants it to be, oh my god, <laughs> now he wants it to be Stanley Cup again, um, we do have to maintain something it looks like, I'll check that out. Since we started simulating, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 2. Not, not too shabby. I wonder what we are in our division. Now we're at 4th. Okay, that's interesting. Let's check to see what we have to maintain here. Upgrade and maintain. Team store is down to 60. Okay, that was at a 70 before, gone down to a 60. Should we upgrade it? No, I'm just going to repair it. It takes a little bit less time. Everything else looks to be good. Concessions and bathrooms, I think I'll update in a week or two. I'll let that get a little bit down. Fan happiness is at 88, so we're almost at that 91 he wants it to be at. I'm going to simulate these four games. And then I'll update, or not update, but repair those. Montreal player Byron. I am just going to replace player because he's only a third or fourth liner. Byron. God damn it. Byron's available to play again. Jaeger. I'm not willing to pull the trigger on a trade just yet. Jaeger's still not ready to pull the trigger <laughs> on the trade just yet. 
Placanets have been injured. Wow. Well, we have this five day off period. I will use it to upgrade, or not upgrade, to maintain some of our concessions. I'll pull that up. Upgrade and maintain. Two days left for the store. Now I will do concession. And I will also do bathrooms. That can't be upgraded anymore. It looks like bathrooms is full. I don't know if that means maybe in future years we can upgrade it. I'm not too sure. Let's simulate this week though. Go up to the Winnipeg Jets game. Pray we can win against Boston. Added scout assignment really, really quick. We will go to the OHL now for forwards three weeks. And can we pull a win? Wow. With Ellis Placanics, two straight four to one loss w losses. That kind of shows you how our team is going to perform if I make a trade. Obviously, I'm going to bring in talent for the starting roster. We are only under two weeks away, a week and a half actually, away from the trade deadline. And I have no idea what direction our team is going in. If we go on a four-game losing streak in Ottawa and... Um, Ottawa and the Panthers, Florida, how could I forget Florida, start going on a tail. That means we're down to six. This is a really odd situation. Huh. Make the line as best as we can right now. I really don't know what we're going to be doing. Yeah, we're fourth. But, I mean, look at this. With a few, with a little bit of a win streak, we can jump into first. This is a crazy year for points. Everybody's on a level playing field. Goals against, right at three. Goals four, yeah, that, that needs to be flipped. Power play percentage, about 20%. I can live with that. Now, PK is only at 76. I want that to be... 85 at least uh, I, I don't know I don't know what to do about my PK if we want to make the playoffs in a good seed and, and make it to the conference finals we need that to be better I don't know what to do because unless we poke Elchenyuk I'm going to try it I have to we have to get some type of anything. Mitchell is four stars defense compared to Gelchenyuk, who is four as well. He is a higher overall. I don't know if that's going to make a difference at all, but I'll see. Oh, was I looking at the wrong one? Yeah, no, he's four star. Okay. Gallagher's four and a half defense, so he should be doing a lot of the work on the penalty kill. Let's simulate one more week. This is, I don't even know what to say about a trade. At this point, I don't know if I'm going to make one. Wow, now Bull Yu has a broken foot. He's out until March. Damn. Okay. Uh, replace player. See, that might be a turning point. If we go on a losing streak now... I'm going to have to make a trade. Patrick Sharp, not going to get you on the team. Wow. <sighs> Our team is going nowhere. We're not falling behind. We're not advancing. We're just middle of the pack. Win, loss, win, loss. Yeah, I know the trade deadline's upon us. Vancouver keeps lowering the price. This is crazy. This is crazy. We are exactly, not exactly, if we win, we will be exactly 500. Okay, we are two games behind 500. 
obviously we have the overtime losses which help us out. But we're on trade deadline right now. If we are going, and Ottawa has more wins than us, they just don't have the overtime losses. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to tank for the rest of this year, but I'm saying we're not going to win the Stanley Cup. Placanics, I'm going to move him to a contending team. Let's check out who is a contending team for the Cup. Obviously, Nashville, we can continue our trade relationship with them. You've got St. Louis, Los Angeles, Arizona at the top. Edmonton actually snuck in there. But I still don't think they'd want Placanics. I don't think they're going to go for the Stanley Cup. I, I don't consider them to be a serious contender. If we can't make it a trade with any of them, we got Philly, New Jersey, Penguins, Washington. Those two teams can be good. Lightning. A lot of good young talent in the East we can trade for. The West, I actually think, is going to be harder. But I'm still going to try. I'm going to try and work something out. Let's get Placanics on the table. And who are we going to start out with? Let's go Nashville. May as well. Let's see what they have to offer. Obviously, I want a forward back. Most likely, I'd like a center. I want a young talent who is basically NHL ready, but in a few years is going to grow into something really special. So under 23, they've got Fila, a sniper, left wing. I don't really need one of those. But they have Drasadal, elite low. Elite low, two-way forward. I'd have to give him a contract this year. He's already second line, though. They don't want Placanics, though. That is the thing. They don't mean San Jose, who do they have? They have Hurdle. That could be a trade, maybe. Who's this Mir? So, three years on his um, entry level. Power forward. What's his potential? Top six. Okay. Thomas Hurdle. Same as Drisadal, but this one makes more sense because they're a cup contending team right now. They want Placanics. So, ah, now we have Salary to include here. Who is that top six? Mir? Okay. Maybe a trade like this. We It looks like we're going to have to retain Salary, which isn't looking good at all. We'd only have to, we would only have to do 11% though. Oh, we'd have to do even more it looks like. Okay, what if we went up to 20? Still not? That's interesting. Why did... Okay, 30? Oh, okay, so Montreal would have... I see, now we're running into micromanaging this trade. Who do we have just to give them? Bottom six, uh, AHL top six, they want him. Sure, go for it. <laughs> you can take that guy. I'm going to lower this now then if we don't have to do that. Okay, so that still works. Let's see how low we can go. Can we go to 10% like it was before? I wonder... We might have to go to 20. Yeah, okay, so if we retain 1.2 million, this trade can work. I'm not sure if they want to do this trade. I think we're getting value back. San Jose, it works for San Jose. They want him in the game. And in real life, they're going for the Stanley Cup. They just came off of losing in the final. And honestly, it doesn't matter that he's a center. Yes, they have a plethora of top-line centers. But we all know San Jose put some of them to the wing. They can have... and So what they're going to probably do is have Thornton, Couture, Placanics will play a wing, most likely. 
or in the game they might just have a filthy center line and have Carlson on the fourth line and put Placanic on the third. I'm not sure if they're going to accept this deal. The trade value does look even. Do they want to? Are they looking to give away draft picks? They are. I don't think we're going to get a first round out of this. Is there any chance we can exchange a second for a first? No, that's not going to happen. I'm going to ask for a second, a third round pick. They don't have a second round pick. Placanics and some and somebody they want to help the deal go through for Thomas Hurdle, Mir. If they won't give us a fourth round pick, I'll take the draft pick out of it. If I give them Chicago's pick, will that go through? No, it does not. Come on, San Jose. Trade accepted. There we go. On behalf of San Jose Sharks organization, I accept your trade offer. We'll see you out on the ice. Wow. Okay. I feel really good about that trade. I feel really good. Because we, let's just face it, we were not going to make it to the conference finals like our owner wanted. That just wasn't going to happen. San Jose got an excellent piece to their team, and we got an excellent piece to our team. Fan happiness is at a 90. Let's go to player morale. I'm sure they want to talk to us. A lot of people do. Okay. Let's talk to Hurdle first. You won't regret. Okay. Oh, I see. So now they have motivating, demanding, calming, and assertive. Welcome aboard. We know you can bring a lot to the table, which is why we traded for you. <laughs> He's actually lost morale. Whatever. I don't care if it changes the locker room for you. Now, okay, I'm going to test something. Last year, if you chose number two, second down, in this case, calming, every time it would work. Yeah, <laughs> and it does this year too. Wow. They, they need to change that. Yeah, they need to change that. Oh, well. Anyways, who is... So, Pattern, I don't really care about you. A leader, Gallagher, Price, Weber. Okay, that's interesting. That's nice to know. Chemistry went down, obviously. We made a trade. But, time to edit the line. And, in the next episode, we're going to the playoffs. 